Hi, Chris Michalek here, and in this edition of Spam Spotting, I ask, will it ever end? Welcome to another exciting episode of Spam Spotting, and this one's unique. We've got an attachment that's just begging to be opened and unleash a virus all over your network. So let's talk about this one. This is another one that was helpfully forwarded to me by somebody, so we're going to go ahead and dig right in. There's nothing obvious about this. I mean, Moses Newman may or may not be somebody you recognize. Now, if you'll notice the address, there's no Moses Newman anything else. It's some gym person here done at BT Connect. So that kind of makes you suspicious. The other fact that this was tagged as spam also makes you suspicious. But notice the simplicity here. See your attached invoice. Pass is random characters. Okay, but it doesn't say password. It's these little things that you've got to pay attention to. And then, of course, it tells you you have to paste it to be able to view the attached file. I'm still waiting for your answer, so trying to make this sound important. But a few other things stick out, and that's who signs their name this way? I mean, it should be Moses E. Newman, even if you sign the full thing. And subject here. So you've got it repeating in the name, the subject, and the signature. So that might make you think, oh, well, this is legitimate. But no. The other thing is I'm still waiting for your answer. If you never got the original message, dead giveaway. Unless it's somebody you do business with, in which case maybe it accidentally got caught in your spam filter. But you never want to open these things. Even the attached file name is some random gibberish. And that's just insane. So this has very easy warning signs by the fact that it's not addressing you. It's giving you some password to open the attachment. It's just some Word document. All this stuff's random. The name doesn't have, seem to have any correlation with the email address. This is a dead giveaway that you've just got to be careful. Just because somebody sends you something, creates a sense of urgency with the I'm still waiting for your answer, don't immediately open it. Look over it. Just take, you saw we took about a minute here to look over this. We can tell this one's spam. It's going in the trash. This has been Spam Spotting. I appreciate you watching. Remember, you can check out all past episodes and future episodes of Spam Spotting up on our YouTube page. That's youtube.parkwaytech.com. I'm Chris Michalek. Thanks so much for watching.